unless your system is leaking do not add any brake fluid in this reservoir welcome to the channel uh, again today uh, I'm going to take you through uh, uh, the brake service I'm going to use a Mercedes this is a Mercedes AMG but this applies to every other car which you may be having whether it's Toyota Subaru whichever brand it is so when you come over here you have this uh, brake reservoir and then I'll just go through the basic parts of a brake and then the booster uh, the, the brake uh, booster is right here and then the master cylinder is just below right here and then this is the ABS module which does all the work the distribution of uh, pressure equally to the brake calipers so basically I'm going to just avoid this because these are topics of their own so I'm just going to talk about the uh, the brake uh, reservoir so when we come right here on top there's some writings in here so first things you'll see is uh, there's a warning and then a clear filter all the information and then there's a dot for plus brake fluid so this tells us that this uh, car is recommended to have a dot for so when you go you buy your, uh, your brake fluid from wherever it is make sure you use a dot four not a dot three others will be having a label for dot three so that means something different so all this dot practically means that they have different temperatures uh, of boiling so so when we come to the side right here is the maximum and the minimum and this is where most people uh, get it wrong so always make sure that when you do your brake service when you change your brake when you change your brakes every time you do the service make sure this level comes up to the top right here and then once that is done unless your system is leaking unless your system is leaking do not add any brake fluid in this reservoir sometimes you'll notice uh, the brake uh, dropping all the way what that means is that it doesn't mean it's leaking it just means that your brakes are wearing out so when they wear out the calipers which is just right here there are piston inside there so the piston is expanding so the brake fluid is being displaced from the reservoir all the way across all the four brakes you're having so it's always uh, recommended that you do not add it unless you have a leak in the system which is leaking outside so you need to top up and then you need to go to your mechanic all right second thing which I want to show you guys is when you open up uh, your brake fluid cup and then you see some moisture right here what tells you is there is some moisture build up in the system and that means your brake uh, fluid is mixed up uh, with moisture so it won't really work effectively as it's supposed to be so what it does is you're supposed to do a brake uh, flushing so you're supposed to flush your brakes so you take out all the uh, all the fluid in the system and then you bring out a new fluid and then you just top it up you just put it all the way so uh, once that is done another thing uh, which uh, most people keep asking is uh, if you don't see uh, no moisture right here how long are you supposed to take before uh, doing a, a break flushing so uh, normally it's recommended that you take uh, uh, four uh, to five years as the recommended time which you have to uh, take so that you do your, your regular brake uh, service and unless of course if there is uh, a leak in the system that means that you will do that before uh, that time so away from there so when we come just right here to the side uh, these are uh, different brands but when you come on the side you see there is the dot four uh, uh, this is the brake fluid and this is the dot three so I'll just speak uh, briefly about them and then uh, which kind of uh, cars you can use them on so let's say uh, this is a dot four for this case so it's going to use only the dot four uh, fluid you should never uh, you should not use uh, this uh, dot three so you always use a dot four but if you find out that yours is saying a dot three right here so you can use the dot three in the system but if you don't have a dot three you can still use a dot four so sometimes you might not find a dot three you can use a dot four on a dot uh, three system so don't be afraid to do that anytime so when you have a dot three you can use a both of them so literally that that means <clears throat> all right and then uh, another thing is uh 
when you have a light on your dash which tells you uh, it's time for brake service it just shows you a red brake most people come here and then they start filling up uh, the brake fluid please do not do that because that totally is a different thing what this thing says is it just tells you that your brake pads are already worn out and then the sensors are just sending a signal uh, to the car that it's time for you to do your brake service so please do not top uh, your brake fluid when uh, that sign shows up on the uh, on the dash just what you do you do your brake service and then you make sure you check all the sensors make sure they're okay and then uh, you can uh, proceed with that all right so this briefly so uh, I'll just talk about a brief uh, what this thing does and the Sims Thompson can tell you this guy is going bad is a BS module so when you step on your brakes and find the spongy this guy is going bad and sometimes when you step on it and then you see it's pulsating it's either the ABS module or it's either uh, your, uh, your your caliper and your rotors they're going bad they're uneven so normally it creates that pulsating thing and also when the pulsation comes it's time uh, to check on the moisture in the system and to make sure that there's no bubbles of air or there's no moisture in the system and make sure it's clean so it's almost always time to do uh, the brake flashing so this uh, brake uh, booster it normally uses vacuum so it always comes from here it goes through the, uh, the engine part right there so what this thing does is that sometimes if this thing uh, is out if it's out of here like if it's out like this because sometimes it does uh, when you step on your brakes uh, in your car let me try get this one out so normally if this thing comes out like this because you just stick it in there it's just made up of uh, this pressure so there's pressure in there so if this thing comes out like this and you start driving your car and when you step on your brakes the brakes is not going the brakes are not going to work so you might think your brake is out but most importantly when you feel a feeling like that in your car always come and check on this line it's the vacuum line going to the uh, brake booster so make sure you check it on it to make sure that it's connected make sure it doesn't have any uh, any uh, space uh, for air to leak or to escape out Let's make sure you check on the guy to make uh, that's good. All right, so in short, make sure the level of your brake uh, fluid is top here after doing your brake service. And then never add any brake fluid here, ever, unless you have a leak in the system. So uh, that summarizes all of it in brief. And then if you have any, uh, any, any related uh, lights on the dash concerning the brake, is always good to consult your mechanic and always good to uh, uh, put a computer diagnostic to make sure you know exactly what you're working on so for that brief, uh, brief uh, I hope really that really helps you out as you uh, take care of your car from home and if you have questions you can leave them on the, on the comment section and then we'll learn together and then we'll continue from there all right have a nice time Please drive safe and then please like and subscribe.